today, for today's tech tip, we're gonna talk about a clutch stop and its importance and role in not overstroking the pressure plate. So what we've done is we've just stuck this uh, clutch assembly, it's a competition clutch twin disc in, um, in our mill here, and we're gonna go ahead and stroke the pressure plate to see when the floater comes free and, um, and use that to understand how fast these aftermarket uh, pressure plates activate. So this clutch only takes about um, 200 thousandths of stroke before the floater will rattle. So what you're gonna wanna do when you get your clutch installed in your car is um, move the clutch pedal until you hear the floater rattle and then about a quarter inch more is uh, where you're gonna wanna install your pedal stop. What we've done real quick on this, uh, this is a pretty inexpensive approach. I've just welded a nut to the uh, clutch pedal and another nut to lock it down. And then we just adjust uh, our pedal height with this bolt. So once we get a quarter inch past where the floater rings, you can kind of hear it ring like a bell. You're just gonna lock this nut down and that's gonna keep you from overstroking the pressure plate. Um, if you overstroke the pressure plate, uh, you'll end up damaging it. You can drive the fingers of the clutch into the hub of the disc, creating uh, a gear lock problem where the car won't shift well. Pedal stop is a real, real inexpensive way to avoid uh, a problem and to have the clutch set up correctly so it operates right. <laughs>